Shalom, shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechah Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, Savior and Redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So this is a um, article coming out of New York Post. It says video captures pulsating UFO dropping out of the sky. Okay, this came out yesterday, October twenty seventh, two thousand twenty one. However, all right, and here's a still image of the um, <clears throat> of the uh, the so called UFO. Okay, which we know them to be the uh, chariots of Israel. All right, our the chariots of our salvation. Um, a still image of the video that was um, captured by a, a pilot. It says newly released footage of a glowing orb over Mexico has been called very consistent with decades of previous reports of unidentified aerial phenomena UAFs from pilots. Video obtained by the Daily Mail shows a pulsating quote unquote teardrop shaped object zip around a pair of FedEx pilots who spotted the UFO March 19th, 2020. So this was, you know, over a year ago. Okay, um, you know, right around when the so-called, you know, pandemic started. It says, out of, out their windshield while they were flying near uh, Monterey, though the interloop, interlooper never popped up on the plane's radar. At one point, the brilliant yellow-white plasma-like object appears to repeat uh, rapidly descend from the sky to match the altitude of the two cargo planes, then flash a beam of light in the in their direction. The orb proceeds to zoom alongside the aircraft for more than a half hour before disappearing with a flash of pinkish blue purple light. Footage of the encounter was later analyzed by experts at the National Aviation Reporting Center of Anomalous Phenomena, a nonprofit that studies UFO sightings and works towards developing safety protocols during such rare and inexplicable occurrences. You know, and it's um, it's actually uh, the spirit because I was just watching the uh, the elder brother Yashawanba's uh, video, okay, um, entitled uh, "The Chariots Got Him Shook." OK, uh, news and prophecies, the chariots got him shook. And I just came across this um, on um, my uh, Instagram because I followed the New York Post and they posted this about 19 hours ago. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, been the talk of Esau, you know, have now coming out in mainstream media <clears throat> saying that, you know, that these uh, vehicles are right, these so-called UFOs are, you know, real and they've been having um data on it okay you had um i want to say last week i seen an article um that said basically that what is it uh pilots or is it pilots or somebody some people in the military said that they seen chariots disable nuclear um facilities all right the the nuclear silos and and, and what so have you okay so the the Lord, uh, uh, his his his, his scriptures say he's the Lord of hosts, and the word host goes into armies. Okay, so his soldiers, which are the angels, they are far more advanced, far more, you know, superior to Esau's uh, weaponry, man, to what Esau has, and Esau knows this, which is why in the video I was watching that the uh, that the brother did, um, the 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 um, that Edomite. He basically said that they hope that this technology from these UFOs are not from a, an adversary from Earth, which who is the main adversary? Like the brother said, who is the main adversary to Esau's power system? It's, it's Israel, because Esau knows that our our uh, uh, um, you know our power, okay, and and you know the, the vehicles of our salvation is real. And he knows that there's going to be there's going to come a point in time where our redeemer, all right, the, our commander in chief, 
our king is going to come and deliver us out of his hands. We are at, we're in, we're in, we're prisoners of war right now. All right. That's when, that's what you Israelites don't understand. Okay. You talking about you Jake that are, that are asleep. You, you don't understand that you are behind enemies, enemy lines. Right. And the ones of us who are, who are awake, who, who, who have this knowledge, we understand that we are waiting for our deliverance. Let me get that scripture. We're waiting for us to be redeemed out of the hand of our enemies. And the way that's going to happen, hey, call Lehi HaBashim Yahweh Shai, 1044. <laughs> okay, because that's who's going to get redeemed, the elect, man. All right, starting with the 144,000, okay, the governing body of the kingdom to come. All right, on earth, the Lord is going to redeem his elect. So this is the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 68. It says, blessed be the Lord power of Israel. Okay, and when you read about the chariots, um, uh, 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 scripture tells you what? Uh, the chariots of Israel. I believe that was, um, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Elisha, uh, when he seen Elijah get beamed up, he said the chariots of Israel. Um, chariots Israel. It's probably a whole bunch of stuff is going to pop up. Oh, 18. Let's get to where he says it at. Um, I know it's in the, the book of Kings. I'm just trying to see which one it is. Let's type that in. Let's see. Hey, Salakia had to uh, take that call, but uh, here's the scripture, uh, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11, it says, And it came to pass, as they went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and of, horse of horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. OK, and he says and he saw him and he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into two pieces. So the chariots. All right. These the, what, what Esau wants to, you know, uh, uh, label as UFOs. But they know. All right. The elites know exactly what they are. They uh, in the scriptures, they are known as the chariot of Israel because those those are our vehicles of of uh, uh, salvation. OK, they're our our. Um, uh, uh, vehicles of, of 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 you know, um, defense and our vehicles of offense. So going back here to Luke one verse twenty seven, it says, "Bless be the Lord power, Yahweh power of Israel, for He has visited and redeemed His people, and has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of His servant David, as He spake by the word." But as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that he that we should be saved. Let's go see what this word saved means. Deliverance, uh, preservation, safety, salvation, deliverance from the molestation of of enemies. OK. And that's and that's what Esau is doing, man. All right. <laughs> Esau has has robbed, raped, pillaged, murdered. OK, uh, uh, just completely spoiled Israel. So we need a savior. We need to be delivered, as it says, saved or uh, 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 preserved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And when you read in a book of um, Psalms, the 83rd chapter, it gives you the list of all the nations that hate us. And, and it's all these nations, man. So if we are at the bottom in this world. With no power, how to how are we going to get deliverance? How are we going to get saved from our enemies? It has to be from what? From something uh, uh, that is not from this earth, because nobody from this world is going to save us, man. All right, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. It says what you should be uh, bond men and bond women. 
Okay? And no man shall buy you, which means save. So so this is why you're, you're uh, you know, now the na mainstream media is uh, speaking and, and, and bringing this out. Esau is, is bringing this out more and more because the chariots are revealing themselves more and more. Okay? And they're allowing themselves to be seen, recorded. All right? And they're doing things that show that their that their uh, uh, ability is out is far superior than what any nation on earth, mainly Esau, cause him being the the one who has the power of the earth right now, can even comprehend or even match or even attempt to match. Okay, so you know you know you read this whole you know thing. I'm not gonna read it, but I actually I'm going to go to the video. Of this uh, event that took place over over Mexico, all right, and you know in Mexico they say that you know chariots be showing a lot in Mexico, man, and, and the Iscarites were known, all right, in the scriptures to uh, you know uh, uh, read the heavens, all right. I, I you know I'm can't remember exactly what scripture that is, um, you know, Lord willing, it comes to me or I'll try to find it on my other um, my other phone. Why this video plays, but you know, we're gonna you're gonna see, you know, just the majesty of this one chariot, man. And the scripture says that the chariots of the Lord are ten thousand uh ten thousand, man. Yahweh Shai is coming with the armies of heaven that are gonna follow him. So what so what this devil got coming to him, which is why he's trying to, you know, uh um gather up all this intel. He's trying to, you know, create this space force. Because when Yahweh Shai returns, he knows he's coming from the, the, the heavens. And Esau is going to, uh, has been programmed to try to fight uh, Yahweh Shai. But the Lord, the Heavenly Father set that up to show that the power that, he, that his son is coming with, Yahweh Shai, is, going, is the only uh, ultimate power on the earth, man. All right. And all knees are going to bow and all tongues are going to confess after after. This uh, war, uh, war of the worlds, Revelation 12, verse 7, it says, And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. All right, the dragon speaking about the uh, the NATO EU, the beast. Esau's, uh, you know, all of all of these different militaries from Esau's uh, uh, conglomerate um, nations. Okay, like I said, the NATO EU. And then you have either even nations that are not a part of the EU are going to fight. When they see Yahweh shall return. It tells you that in the book of 2nd Edris, the 13th chapter. It says, and the angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels, and prevailed not. So he didn't win. John already saw it. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. All right? So let's get this. We'll show, show uh, the, uh, you know, this uh, video that the pilot recorded. I'm not going to play the whole thing either. Shooting star, but then it stopped. Huh? Yeah, let me zoom in, man. It's like an orb, man. Look at that shit. It's pulsating. Oh, this is awesome. And he's not on TCAS, man. Huh. Well, I can tell Rita now. That's interesting. That is, dude. That is shit hot. Platillos, platillos. He's a pulsating orb. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Turn on the tail light. Oh, it is on. Okay, cool. Never mind. Oh, man. Look at that thing, dude. Flip the uh, the uh, flip the TCAS switch up and, and see if you see anything on the display on the ND. Anything? Any any TCAS returns? No. Okay, flip the switch down. He's definitely above our altitude. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah that man. That's this guy is not reporting TCAS. That is a uh, unidentified flying object, bro. I can finally say I saw one. Now that is cool. And it's pulsating too, man. That is nuts. Oh, I wish we could get closer. I can't believe you saw it. What's on the map below us? 
What city? Is it the uh, Monterrey? It's, we're over uh, Toulouse. So the nearest, because uh, they tend to, they tend to congregate around around Monterrey. They'll get a lot of. Uh, yeah, we're we're close. I'll close to Monterrey. We're about 150 miles from Monterrey. Oh man, that is phenomenal, dude! I'm so glad you saw that, and you saw it drop out of the sky and just. It just... Hey, that's uh, interesting. I just googled uh, what does uh, Monterrey mean. It says uh, King Mountain. All right, or Mountain of the King. <laughs> hey, that's spiritual. It just stopped. I thought it was a shooting star. It just stopped. This is awesome, man. Oh, this is fucking cool. I had to call my brother in law. He lives in Puebla. I mean, there's nothing flashing that I can see on it when you put it in the No, video, but, like, but look how it pulses, though. I know. Here, let me zoom in. Jeez, man, that is that freaky, is man. Crazy. You think it's a weather delay? Because I thought it's No. Stars. No, not, not with lights like that. Because yeah. it doesn't fall like that either. No, the only weather balloon we have is near Harlingen. It's 15,000 feet AGL. This thing's above our altitude. I just can't tell. That's why I asked you to hit the TCAS. Just in, ca just in case it was an airplane. Dude, it's pulsing, man. Look at that. Come on, man. Latios. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he's saying Latios, which I know Tio means uncles. So if he's saying Latios, like the uncles... That means what? What? Because you can hear, you know, you can clearly hear that the guy you're not speaking is has a has a uh, a Mexican accent or some type of Hispanic accent. He's probably Mexican because he knows about the different um, cities in Mexico, and he's saying Latios, which is you know uh, basically like relatives. And the scriptures tells you here in the book of Revelation 19, verse uh, 10, it says, "And I fell." At his feet to worship him. And he said unto me. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So this is the angel telling. Um, uh, John the revelator. That don't worship him. Because he is a fellow servant of his. Alright. Uh, another scripture. Revelation. Um. Revelation chapter 22, verse 9, it says, And then he said, Then he said unto me, See thou do it, Salakia. Verse 8, it says, I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I heard, and when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then he saith unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship the most high. All right, so we know that the angels are our, you know, uh, celestial, you know, we're our celestial brothers, man. You know, we are angels that just left our first estate, which is why the angel told John to don't worship him because he's a fellow servant of his. He's just like the brethren of the rest of the prophets that have the that uh, uh, have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, okay, and that worship Yahweh. All right, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You see, so. This is why this man, even though he don't even probably realize it in the spirit, but why he's saying, if he is saying, which I believe he's saying Latios, all right, if I'm if I'm wrong, then Salakia, but uh, uh, it sounds like he's saying, you know, Theos, which I know Teo means uh, 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 uncle, you know, so if I'm wrong or not, you know, correct me, you know, whoever, you know, knows uh, Spanish, you know, if he's not saying that. Strobe, I don't see a, and the fact that it dropped out of the sky like that and then stopped and hovered. 
He's probably just checking us out. I wanted to, I was going to turn on the light over there, but looks like he's turning away from us. That is phenomenal, man. Look at that. Yeah, they're all over Mexico, dude. I wonder what you can do with that video. Like, if you can hold oh, it's the, oh, oh, it, what I it, was like, shit, it just disappeared. Where'd he go? Is he there? there? All right. What oh, it's, it's the clouds. It's in the clouds, yeah. He's like, he's almost like he's over the weather or something. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, we're going to lose him in the clouds. Son of a bitch. Well, there it is. Hey, so, you know, <laughs> just wanted to bring this out. I'm going to end it there, Lord willing. This is edifying unto the elect. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Shalom.